Hey, what's going on? This is Brandon with Taylor's Fire Smoke Cooking, and this is another segment of Smacking or Lacking. Today, we're going to find out if this teriyaki pork tenderloin cooked in bag, see if it's any good. Uh, at the local grocery store, had somebody ask me uh, to try one out, pick one up. So we're going to see if this thing is smacking or lacking. All it says you have to do is remove the labels, put it on the pan, and cook it in the bag it says the bag will expand when it needs to or whatnot so you don't have to worry about doing anything else so this is going to be pretty simple and uh it shouldn't take long at all so let's get into this thing and see if it's smacking or lacking into the prep work for this real quick all right that's it now it goes in a 375 degree oven for 30 minutes all right guys off the bat, it don't look like the most appetizing thing, but that's what it says you're supposed to do. So, uh, this came out the oven. I'm gonna let it rest for probably 10 minutes before I cut it open. So, uh, but I just wanted to let you see how it looked when it came right off the oven. Yeah, we'll see. All right, guys, we're back, and I just took it out of the uh, the wrapper here. You can see it's got lots of juices and stuff left in it but I am definitely not a fan of the way it looks and I know you know when you cook something in the bag like that you don't always get the uh, color or whatnot you're looking for and I'm not a big fan of the color but I mean let's go ahead and give it a taste and see what we're working with here okay well it's definitely juicy you can see that being in that wrapper with that marinade so it's really really juicy it was supposed to be cooked for 30 minutes I tempted it when I uh, after 30 minutes with my uh, temperature or probe and I just went a little longer so I cooked it for a total of uh, 40 minutes but look at that it is juicy I'm gonna cut off a couple slices then we'll go ahead and get into this taste Let's see if it's smacking or lacking Again, super tender, very juicy. So that's a good thing. Let's see how it tastes. All right, one last look. See that steam coming off of it, so it's fresh out the pack. Let's go ahead and taste it. Mmm. You know, in all honesty, that's really good. It's super tender, which a pork tenderloin is pretty tender anyway. You'd be hard pressed to really mess one of them up. And but the flavor is really good. It's teriyaki, but it's not that um overwhelming teriyaki flavor like that just that's just like in your face that tastes generic. So it's just like a hint of teriyaki. It's seasoned really good. This would be good with some veggies and some rice or something like that. So, and it didn't cost a much, like uh, cost a ton. I got it at Ruler Foods, which is a subsidiary of uh, Kroger. So you can see that it was a Kroger brand, and uh, I think it was six bucks for the uh, tenderloin. And that tenderloin is actually will be enough for me to feed my family at six if we have you know a starch and uh, vegetables aside. So I recommend it, man. Uh, the teriyaki pork tenderloin cooked in the bag though it didn't look the best it tastes pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and give it the thumbs up and it's definitely smacking uh if you guys like this content make sure you like comment subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell for me uh if you could give me a thumbs up that's very important thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up i uh, appreciate you guys watching this was another segment of smacking the lacking if you got something that you want me to review and see if that thing is smacking or lacking before you go out and you spend your money. Let me know. Uh, I'll try to get to it. Now, if it's something ridiculous, I'm not going to do it. But if it's not and it's something that's attainable and something I don't mind spending money on, I will definitely do it for you. Just let me know in the comment section down below. I appreciate you guys watching, like I said. And uh, God bless you until the next time.